Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Spark the Electric Jester 3. When we last left off, a new character who just joined our ranks, just all out of nowhere in the last boss from On the Run. And we've unlocked another level, Historia Hysteria, Nighttime Phenomena. But there's still a couple more levels back here that I haven't dealt with, Squabble Spillway and Residential Rental. So we're going to stop by Chapalo's Goods first, and I think for Squabble Spillway, I'm going to put on the uh, Scouter again. And Float is worth exactly one bit. Not sure what you want with this chick, but she's... Read to read to help you out, so go for it. I guess I'm not sure about the language there. She's only one bit, and we can assign her as thus. I will place her in place of the Reaper Jester for now because I, I honestly, the other two abilities I just want to hang on to because I really like them. And we'll go back to those other levels that I hadn't completed yet, and we will get on with them. I mostly just wanted to get, you know, the on-the-run boss out of the way after the last level, instead of going all the way back to the sh shop and do things, you know, because... Squabble Spillway is another one of these, uh... Search for all the metal types. So I'm going to put on the Scouter. Oh, I forgot. This is a vertical level. Oh, no. <laughs> that means... Okay. Yeah. Wait, no, I can run up top. And there we go. Jupiter 5. This is a big hole in the ground. Wait a minute. Is this a dismantled missile or something like that? Or a missile silo? Eh. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, right, so this is a very vertical level, it seems. Oh, wait. We're at the bottom. Okay, so... Oh, no, wait. There's more stuff over here. Or is there? Uh, I want to go... Okay. This feels all sorts of wonky... Where am I? Where am I? Am I up? Am I down? I don't know where I am. I'm already lost. I am so disoriented already. I don't know where I am. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to go back up because I thought there were more things above me. I don't think I'm going to bother though. Because there's things right over here. Very clearly, right over here, and there, and here, and there, and everywhere. There's a lot of these things just here where I can find them, and I can see them, and it's easy, and it is simple. Is there another one up there? I guess there is, but I guess there's more down here, too. Something about this reminds me of Stray. You know, the whole uh, roots growing down into the underground areas. Um... Okay. 
just need one more. And there are two more right over yonder. Mm, no, wait, hold it. Okay, fine, I'll go get this one since I skipped that one. For completely nonsensical reasons. Okay. Alright. Um, so that's that done and dealt with. Alright, so let's try Residential Rattle. Hmm. Yeah, it looks mostly like more of the same of what we were doing before. A lot of running. Whoa, okay. Oh, come on. Now I get to play with uh, Float in her stabby stabby ways. Hmm. Hold on, that seemed kind of... I mean, the fact that it is Float, or she identifies it Float, is already kind of suspect since, again, didn't we kill her in the previous game? You know, Fark killed her. I mean, you know. Spark, he had nothing to do with the stuff that happened before. Admittedly. But. You know, she was dead. I mean, as far as we knew, she was dead. You know, it, it's kind of, you know, I, it, kind of hard to discern. And I just like, again, it, just based on my memories. Wasn't she a robot or a cyborg or something like that? Okay, I don't like you. Or you. What? 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 Ooh, ooh. Blow someone else, okay? Where does this lead? Nowhere, apparently. Yeah, still... Lethal Highway was the name of the place. St yeah, I'm still getting... My feelings towards this level and it's... Uh, or this zone, or whatever you want to call it. I guess this is a zone and this is a level within the zone. But, uh, Protest City, its aesthetic just reminds me of Lethal Highway and... Or, you know, just the whole of Westopolis. Although I think specifically of Lethal Highway because... I guess something about the music reminds me of Lethal Highway. Granted, I'm only just remembering the name of Lethal Highway. Oh, go already. Of course! Ugh. No, you don't. Also, what's with the, uh, the the red face thing that reminds me of uh, the Fark mode in Spark 1? Again, there's uh, a lot of things suspect about the fact that this character Float is here. It'd be nice to get some answers sooner or later, and I mean... I don't know what, what Spark's... Thoughts are, but my thoughts are do not trust for the life of me. Roadway rally, then. What have we got? Uh, is this another one of those? Ah, yes, it's a racing level. Screw that. <laughs>
yeah, we can race in this game. We can get in that car that we were at the beginning of the game. And, you know, keep racing along in this level like we would otherwise. Since I already know I don't have to, I'm not going to. I want to run! I want to race! Nothing! Although, to be fair, this, uh, you know, just running... Okay. Ow. I was about to say, this is kind of boring, but now we've got the lasers. Huh. And, of course, there's all these obstacles that would have been a problem for the vehicle, if the vehicle were here. But it isn't, because I'm Spark, and I don't need a car. Whoosh! I can go faster than in your stupid cars anyway. Dash pads. <laughs> I don't need them, but I'll take them anyway. Whoa! Whoa, Nilly. Yeah, I just like the pure exhilaration of running. And I'm glad that we're able to even get this kind of speed in a game like this. You know, you think back to the Sonic Adventure games, and it's just like, oh. You know, ultimately, it's just like, hey, Sonic Adventure, it ain't fast. You don't run fast. You just go and do things. It's just not fast like Boost Sonic is, and I'm just like, well, he could be. And, uh, here's solid enough proof that, you know, it's possible to build off the Sonic Adventure formula, and okay, there's a medal here. I don't know why I was inclined to go back and have a look at that. Fractured Historia, now open. So wait, uh, this world has dinosaurs on it. Actually, at... Again, more things that it just... Ca oh, wow. More things I just sort of learned, you know, between games. Because apparently there's a wiki for this stuff. And I, I honestly have to wonder where the... Okay. Slip hazard. Where the wiki comes up with most of the information that it has. Because it's like, none of this stuff is obvious to me. But then... I'm not looking for this stuff, for all this information, quite personally, but it's just like, yeah, we are, okay, the stuff down there is not solid. Bit of inconsistency there. No, no, <laughs> okay, I don't get it. But again, I, I hadn't looked up the sourcing on any information that I found on the wiki, so I don't know what to say. Is it, like, is it true or not? Where does it come from? Whoa, what? What What happened there? I went down and I went up! Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hallway. Museum totem pole. No, <laughs> why are you reminding me of games I hate? Oh, remind me of games that I hate that I haven't completed my playthrough of yet. I mean, unless you count the one that I did, you know, eons ago. Okay. Ooh, crud! <sighs> okay, we'll go this way instead. Okay. 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 A lot of just going through dash panels here. 
And I thought this was going to be more open. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. This is just a hallway. A round hallway at that. Why am I sideways? Okay, um... Keep your head on straight, man. Oh, those enemies expunge rings at me. Okay, wait a minute. I'm not on the moon anymore and I'm sideways! Why am I sideways? Or is this one great big illusion? But yeah, what I was trying to say before is just like, the planet we are on is a terraformed version of our moon! In like, the far, super far distant future or something like that? I don't know. Makes sense to me. Wait a minute. Oh. 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 Okay. Alright, I put that on because something seemed oh, off. I don't like you. I don't like any of you. Come on. Okay, fine. You know, I'll leave you there. I don't. I don't. I. I wasn't a big fan of you and whatever you thought you were doing in the first place. Ooh. Okay. 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 Do it right. Got to Just do the thing. All right. Okay. Okay. Just go through the thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, God, the totem pole things in these hallways. Granted, I mean, the, the problem with them in Mega Man X6 is that they were just such difficult, you know, things to get through. You know, obstacles to get through because of various other reasons. But it's like, again, I, I just... <laughs> I already know what the problem is. <sighs> Freaking illusions and whatnot here. Oh, wait. What am I doing now? What is this? Am I upside down? Sideways? Uh. This place is deliberately disorientating. And I don't like it. What did you do? Ooh, what did you do? Uh. Wait a minute, that's kind of unfair. It's like the, the, the whole area is technically solid. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like it. I don't like any of this. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's like these things are technically solid. They're just projections. Uh, uh. So I die at, if I touch them. I don't, I don't, that's not. Yeah, I should be able to go through that. And, you know, now suddenly I'm reminded of Sonic Riders and the weirdness that goes on in those games. Or specifically with the, the, uh, the, um, the, um.
the final levels in those stages. Right. Well, that's uh, Historia Hysteria's one level completed. Boss throwback. Sounds like interesting. And apart from that, we have Dropship, Jaybreak, and Endless Hall. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it quits for this episode of Let's Play Spark the Electric Jester 3. And we will catch up on this whole thing next time. So with that all said and done, thank you absolutely everyone for watching. As always, there will be links in the description below to my various social media outlets, as well as to my coffee page, if you care to follow up on that. Devossia Mentality saying peace out.